we know how to compute mean when numbers like this are given to us and i'm just writing few random numbers and if we wanted to calculate the mean of this we would sum all these numbers and divide the sum by the number of observations that we have so it would simply be like 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and then i would simply divide it by 8 and this would give me the mean but we can see that 2 is reappearing 3 is also reappearing 4 and 5 both are reappearing so now how we compute mean sometimes depend upon how is the data set given to us and what we want to study is when the data set is given in a way that we know the frequency of each observation occurring so for example i just create a simple table i'll write observation and below that i'll write frequency so if from the earlier data set we had 2 3 4 and 5 as the observations and each of it was occurring two times so the frequency of each of them was 2 and in such cases how do we find the mean so to compute mean in such cases we multiply the observation by its frequency so 2 times 2 plus 3 times 2 plus 4 times 2 plus 5 times 2 divided by the total sum of frequencies and total sum of frequencies is basically 2 times 4 which is 8 and this will give us the mean in this case let's take a real life example say we have a data of unit test marks of few students so the test scores for some students are 8 some students got 7 some got 6 2 and 10 and for each of those scores we have frequency of how many times is that score appearing that actually means three students have got eight marks four students have got seven marks and so on so frequency shows number of students who got that many marks and in this case if we wanted to calculate the mean marks what we will do is that we will multiply that test score by the frequency of it and we will sum all such cases so eight times three plus seven times four plus six times one plus two times two plus ten times two divided by the total number of students who appeared for the test or the number of students for which the data is available here so number of students is basically the sum of frequencies and the sum of frequency is 3 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 that is 12 and therefore the mean marks is equal to 24 plus 28 plus 6 plus 4 plus 20 divided by 12 and this is nothing but 82 divided by 12 and the mean comes out to be 6.833 now why is this method a little different we could have written this data of marks like this 8 comma 8 comma 8 because 8 is appearing three times and then 7 appearing four times but this just gets tedious and people are lazy they don't want to write the data that is repeating and there is a way around it so when we represent the data we just make a table and write down all kinds of observations we have and just write the frequency of it which just enables us to visualize data better and it also just changes finding the mean a little bit although the fundamental concept of finding mean is the same we are just summing up all the scores and dividing it by the total number of observations note that the observations are usually represented as xi this i refers to the position of the data so when i say x1 it's 8 or the observation appearing at the first place and so basically this is x1 this is x2 this is x3 and so on and the frequency represented as fi so what we have done in this formula is basically we have sum up so this is a summation sign we have sum up the multiplication of xi and fi and we have divided it by the summation of fi or all the frequencies so this is how we calculate the mean when we have data given in tabular form with frequency we could also get the data like this and we can still use the same method so this formula works well when we have data given with frequencies and note that this data is an individual data this is not a group data so it is important to note that this is an ungrouped data so we just learned how to calculate mean for the data set given which is ungrouped and frequencies are given to us